Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudio.com and today we are going to do a camera review of the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. Here we have the device with us. When it comes to the front camera, the front camera on this device is a 2 megapixel camera, fixed focus. It is capable of recording high definition video at 1080p with 30 frames per second. When it comes to the back camera, the back camera is an 8 megapixel camera auto focus and it does not have LED flash especially for the low light photos so the low light photos are going to suffer to some extent on this device as far as the overall performance is concerned and we have actually uh, taken some photos from the camera on this device let me just show you the camera UI so this is how the camera UI as you can see and again when it comes to the photo mode you have the superior auto mode which will take care of every setting whenever you are taking the photo I we would suggest you to use this mode you can go to the video camera mode from here and when it comes to the video camera you can also take photos while doing the video recording but there will be one megapixel photos when it comes to the other settings the video resolution will be full HD which is supported at 1080 into 1920 as you can see and you can also record the video at 720p and lower resolution as well if we take a look over the other resolution you have quick launch option supported you can control over the exposure and white balance you also have image stabilizer uh, you also have image stabilizer while doing the video recording you do have touch to capture if you want to enable it you can disable the shutter sound as well let me just show you the other settings related to the photos when it comes to the photo modes you have bus shot mode supported you can apply a picture effect you also have panorama mode supported you can apply different scenes from here you can go back to the front camera from here and this is how the view will look like from the front camera and again the front camera view is pretty good in terms of the overall colors i would say but the details are not that good it is kind of grainy if you actually take a very closer look on the device when it comes to the front camera but again you can do a high definition video chat from the front camera and let me just go back to the normal mode so you can also record a video from the front camera as you can see so let's go back to the superior auto mode from the back camera and when it comes to the photo settings you have the resolution which can be 5 megapixel or 7 megapixel maximum at expect ratio 4 is to 3 and then you have other resolutions as well which are the lower resolutions when it comes to 5 megapixel photo this will be the 16 is to 9 expect ratio which you will be able to take as far as the photos is concerned and when it comes to other option you have quick launch you have preview you can have touch to capture you can enable and disable the shutter sound and you can also auto upload these images as well you can specify the default data storage for the photos which you will capture from this device and let me just show you some of the photos which we have taken from this device so we have taken some photos in artificial light in indoor room and the photos come out to be pretty okay in terms of the colors not too good again the night mode does work on this device pretty good so you we would suggest you to take photos in night mode we have some other samples which we have taken in the low light and again they are pretty okay not too good in daylight the camera performance is actually good as you can see it does capture the colors as well as the details as well of the object in daylight as you can see the photos come out to be pretty good in daylight and when it comes to other photos we have some other photos as well so the daylight performance of the camera is pretty good so make sure you watch the complete video uh, so that you get to see the complete photo samples and the camera video samples as well which have been taken from the back camera on this device Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStreet.com and right now we are recording this full high definition video from Sony Xperia Z Ultra. This device has an 8 megapixel camera at the back from which we are recording this video as of now, as you can see. And this is how the quality of the video will look like from this device when you record a high definition video from this device in daylight. When it comes to tap to focus, you do have tap to focus on this device while doing the video recording and let me just show you the same. So this is how you can actually focus. On specific, it, it can automatically focus as well on specific objects whenever you are, whenever you are doing the video recording. So this is how the video will look like from 
the device as you can see in daylight and when it comes to the stabilization if you shake the device like this the video might get blurry for a specific amount of time but the camera will auto focus to make sure that the video is looking good That's all from us as far as the quick hands-on camera review of the Sony Xperia Vid Ultra. Do let us know if you have any specific question for this device. We would love to help you. You can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.